Dear friends, today we will discuss about the three processes in laser that is stimulated absorption, spontaneous emission and stimulated emission. So topics to be covered, laser acronym, stimulated absorption, spontaneous emission and its characteristics, stimulated emission and its characteristics. Laser acronym. The, the word laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So, as the name suggests, in lasers the light is amplified with the help of a process called stimulated emission. Therefore, laser is based on the principle of stimulated emission. In other words, it is a device to produce a monochromatic beam, highly intense and coherent beam of light. Stimulated absorption. When a photon of light having energy E2 minus E1 that is equals to H into nu, where nu is the frequency of radiation, is incident on an atom in the ground state, the atom in the ground state E1 may absorb the photon and jump to the higher energy state E2. This process is called stimulated absorption or induced absorption. This is called so because the incident photon has stimulated the atom to absorb the energy. Because we are providing external energy and that external energy is absorbed by the atom in the ground state and this atom will be excited to the upper state with the help of absorption of this external energy. That's why the name is stimulated absorption. Spontaneous emission. Now the excited atom in the excited state automatically decays to the ground state by emitting a photon of energy E2 minus E1 equals to H nu. Then this process is called spontaneous emission. Uh, generally an atom or electron in excited state can stay for 10 raised to the power minus 9 to 10 to the minus 8 seconds. So here word spontaneous means by its own. Emission means to emit the energy. So, the excited electron or atom will be de-excited to the ground state by its own after approximately 10 raised to power minus 8 seconds. This process is known as spontaneous emission. Characteristics of spontaneous emission. The emitted photon of energy E2 minus E1 equals to h nu can move in any random direction there will not be any phase relationship between the photons emitted from various atoms hence the radiations coming out due to spontaneous emissions are incoherent and this is the reason that spontaneous emission cannot be the principle of laser stimulated emission if the atom is in the excited state E2 uh, as it was in the previous diagram we have discussed and a photon of energy exactly equal to E2 minus E1 equals to H nu is incident on it then the incident photon interacts with the atom in the excited state and then it stimulates or induces the atom to come down to the ground state E1 a fresh photon is emitted in this process Therefore, when an atom ejects a photon due to its interaction with the photon incident on it, the process is called stimulated emission or induced emission. You can see in this diagram that a photon exactly equals to E2 minus E1 incident on a system, an excited atom exists in the system or excited electron exists in the system. And this photon will interact with this excited atom and it will induce this excited atom or electron to de-excite to the ground state. 
and the incident photon and the photon released during de excitation from e2 to e1 these two photons will move in the same direction so characteristics of stimulated emission for each incident photon there are two outgoing photons moving in the same direction as the emitted photon has exactly the same energy phase and direction as the incident photon we will achieve an amplified and unidirectional coherent beam the laser is based on the principle of stimulated emission dear friends for further reference please search our website also that is www.winnerscience.com please subscribe to our channel and thanks for patient listening thank you